the faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory. So help me, God. Amen. What I'm going to look into is one, the security. Security of a nation is very, very important, just like the one we're experiencing here. So my first 100 days in the office is I'm going to try as much as possible to put the security apparatus. I will make sure my people will be very, very happy. And I will make sure that no hunger in the country. People will be eating normally, you understand? But now if you look, people are suffering. If you go to anywhere, people are suffering. People are suffering. No money, nothing, nothing. If I was the president of my country, what would I do? I would just make sure I invest in the youth, capital, human capital development. That's what I'm going to do. If you're a leader, you have the urge, you have the zeal, to think of the way for the promise, you become a leader. And as I've told the area, one has to pray and to seek for God's guidance. If you are doing anything, you say it doesn't matter, I leave God, you, the person will fail. Right. In your closest, you pray to God, God guide me, like Solomon in the Bible. Then God give you wisdom, give you that. you will lead the country very well. I would um, allow world peace to be everywhere because right now we have a lot of corruption. So I will try to stop that. So that will be my first goal. And let there be unity. I will first of all ensure equity. Okay. Equity in terms of um, the fight for corruption, there should be equity. Equity in appointments. Equity over religious affairs. Um, I know we are very, very religious uh, nation. And uh, like uh, philosophers will say, religion is the opium of the people. First is to apologize to the whole country, Nigeria, about everything that has been happening. Because Nigeria as a whole, we need an apology. So it's to apologize first. Then we look through to, you know, since we've been there, we know what has been happening. We know what we've been complaining about. We would try and look around to know how to go about it. But the first thing first is to apologize about our leadership. I will create jobs for youth. Okay. Empower the next generation as you're graduating from the university, you already have a job. Instead of sending youth, young people into NYC camp, and after graduation, no job. Upon graduation, you have a job. Even while serving as your as you finish your NYC service, immediately the job is waiting for you. I'm going to change everything that concerns the country, the whole problem, the whole problems, the issues that are going on. I'm going to turn it around by God's grace. All right, thank you very much. So who wants to go and answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> national anthem, it's okay. So no more national anthem. So if you become the president of a country, what would you do? First, I would um, allow world peace. You know, but first and foremost, if you look at uh, aside the issue of corruption that we we talked about, we talk about every single day. How do we get? How do how, how do we, how do we improve our economy? Uh, some years back, tourism has been has been coming up, has been improved, as, uh, as the GDP the, the GDP has improved in terms of uh, what tourism does to the economy. But how far we fed in that in that direction? You know, uh, and look at education. Our schools, the TED fund given to universities, how has it helped? Is it enough? Is it sufficient? And the students, do they enjoy conducive, conducive reading and academic environments? <laughs>